Well, the interesting thing that we've noticed is that when children are 9 to 14, they're really interested in making things, designing things, and solving problems. Yet somehow, after that age, um, they're told that it's important to be a lawyer or an accountant, a professional person, and that engineering or designing or making things is not important and it's not academic. So they give it up, even though they're enthusiastic about it. So what we want to do is to encourage those young people who are creative and interested in engineering and design to carry on through their school learning design and technology and engineering together and then go on to university and read engineering and then become wonderful creative inventors and engineers. So um, although we're concentrating on schools and particularly on the schools in Chicago by giving them loan boxes after school classes uh, in order to generate the enthusiasm in engineering, but we're also encouraging students at universities to solve a problem and do a design that solves a problem. And we now run this in about 21 countries and we have nearly a thousand entries. And this year's winner is something called the Titan Arm, developed by the University of Pennsylvania. And it's an exoskeleton that assists the movement of the arm. And they developed it with physiotherapists and, and doctors. And someone who's recovering from an operation or who has something wrong with their arm can fit this exoskeleton. It allows them to do a manual job or jobs around the home and gets them back into, into um, you know, using their arms and body properly. And it's very cleverly developed and it doesn't put a strain on your back. It also gives feedback to doctors who are, who are monitoring them. And it's very cheap, you know, it's $2,000 instead of $100,000. So, so it's a brilliant invention and it solves a real problem.